We're going to turn now to the latest on the fight against COVID. Breaking news just moments ago, Johnson & Johnson submitting their booster shot for FDA approval. This as the CDC posted and then removed their holiday guidance. Steve Osinsami is outside the CDC in Atlanta with more on the confusion. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you. Johnson & Johnson has just asked the FDA for emergency authorization use of its new booster shot. The FDA is going to discuss it on the 15th. The CDC could approve the use of this booster shot shortly afterwards. The company is saying that for Americans who've gotten that shot and then get this booster shot six months later, that this booster shot could provide up to 94% protection. Meanwhile, here at the CDC, they say they are still working on this travel guidance for the holidays. Americans who turn to the CDC's website for guidance on how best to avoid COVID over the holidays are a little confused this morning. On Friday, they were suggesting virtual holiday celebrations or outdoor parties, and were telling families to avoid sit-down dinners and instead drop off meals. But on Monday, the same website said none of this, and the CDC is taking it all back, telling ABC News the page had a technical update on Friday, but doesn't reflect the CDC's guidance ahead of this upcoming holiday season. The CDC will share additional guidance soon. The nation's top infectious disease doctor is changing his messaging too. Over the weekend, he said it was too soon to tell if it's safe for Americans to get together for the holidays. He now says his words were taken out of context. I encourage people, particularly the vaccinated people who are protected, to have a good normal Christmas with your family. The vaccine mandates and private business continue to roll on. Just in time for holiday travel, Southwest Airlines is joining several other major air carriers who are requiring employees to get fully vaccinated, in this case, by December 8th. Health officials say there are more small signs we're winning the fight with COVID. Here in the U.S. last week, about 173,000 children tested positive for COVID-19, and this is the first time that number has dropped below 200,000 a week since August. A new study is out this morning in the medical journal Lancet on the effectiveness of the Pfizer vaccine over time. And it says what a lot of people had suspected, that after six months, the vaccine loses about half of its effectiveness, but it is still very effective in preventing hospitalizations. George. And they're going for the booster. Okay, Steve, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.